Hey everyone, welcome. In today's video, I'll show you how to make jerk chicken and shrimp pineapple boats. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey everyone, and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these delicious jerk chicken and shrimp pineapple boats. Now starting off, here are a few of the ingredients that you're gonna to need to complete your jerk chicken pineapple boats recipe. We're gonna start off over here, y'all. I have some raw jumbo peeled in the vein tail off shrimp. We also have some chicken broth. I also have one package of yellow rice. I have one red bell pepper, a yellow bell pepper, as well as one large onion and a tomato. A one skinless boneless chicken breast that I've already washed and pet dry. Here for the seasonings that I'm going to be using, I have some parsley flakes, some minced garlic, as well as a complete seasoning. And also, of course y'all, this is so good. This is the Walker's Wood Jamaican Jerk Seasoning and Hot and Spicy. And some complete seasoning. I also have some chicken broth and some coconut water with pulp. Now I'm gonna be doing my yellow rice a little bit different today, y'all. I'm in this kitchen, I'm kinda of getting creative with my rice. So I'll be using coconut water and chicken broth to boil our yellow rice in, but I'm gonna be adding a lot of more things later on in the video to kinda of bring flavor and definitely deliciousness to our yellow rice. So don't forget to continue to watch. All right, y'all, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, y'all, so in the medium saucepan, I am taking my chicken broth and I'm pouring that kind of like midway and also adding one full can of the coconut water and pulp. I'm also gonna set my temperature at medium low to kind of start the boiling process for this. So here are our shrimp and also I took that one large chicken breast and I just cut them into thinly slices. So the only seasons that I'll be using for my shrimp and also for my chicken breast is the Walker's Wood Jerk Seasoning, Parsley Flakes, and also some minced garlic. That's it. So let's go ahead and season these up. Right now I have my coconut water and my chicken broth boiling for my rice. But let's go ahead and start to prepare and cook our chicken and our shrimp. All right, y'all, I let the jerk chicken cook on each side for maybe about five or six minutes. Flip them over. Since these are really thin, y'all, it didn't take that long at all to cook. So maybe the whole cook process for this one large chicken breast was maybe like six minutes. All right, y'all, so I cut up all my bell peppers and also my one large onion. I'm also going to be adding a little bit oil to the pan, and I'm also going to be cooking these together for maybe like five minutes um, to still have that crunch but not cooking them too well done. And in this pan, our shrimp are almost done. I'm about ready to take them off. It's just a few down here that I still need to flip. All right, y'all, so in the medium saucepan, I did went ahead on and added a little bit of oil at the bottom and I have my heat at medium. Um, I actually thinly sliced these, but you guys can kind of cut your bell peppers or your vegetables any way that you would like, but I definitely wanted to keep them this way so that way I still have that juiciness from the sweet peppers and also a little bit of crunch. at medium medium high and I added a little bit of olive oil at the bottom of our pan for our vegetables I'm actually going to go ahead and cook these for maybe like three more minutes but y'all the aroma here smells so so good right here in this cup y'all I have one third cup of diced tomatoes you guys can use can if you want to um, I have one third cup of fresh tomato and also a half a cup of sweet peas so this is the rice we'll be using and I'm going to go ahead and pour that in to our chicken broth. I'm only using half of this package, guys. I'm not using a whole package. This is a 16 ounce package. I'm using half of that, so maybe about eight ounces of this rice. Next, I'm going to go in with some complete seasoning, parsley flakes, some seasoning all. And once our rice get up to maybe like once tender, then I will add in our tomatoes and our peas. All 
All right, y'all, so I have my yellow rice at medium heat. I'm also gonna be adding a little bit more coconut. I'm also gonna be adding a little bit more coconut water and chicken broth to this because our rice is still a little bit hard. So in this pan, we have our vegetables. And um, here's the start to show y'all the pineapple. So with this pineapple, y'all, I'm gonna cut it off camera because it does take a lot of muscle strength to actually cut this thing in half. But once I cut it in half, I kind of go and give you guys directions on how I hollowed it out and how to scoop all that stuff out. You know, basically like simple directions on how you can cut this uh, pineapple in half so you can put all your uh, stuffings in. But here's our rice. Um, at this point, y'all, you can see that I need a little bit more coconut water. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to cook this for the remaining 12 minutes or so until our rice is tender. It's only been on the heat for maybe about eight minutes, but I may need to cut the heat down a little bit because it's the uh, broth in the water is absorbing pretty, pretty fast. I'm also going to put a lid on this as well. So yeah, y'all. All right, let's be right back. All right, so here's one third cup of diced tomatoes and a half a cup of sweet peas. I'm going to add that in. Our rice is kind of tender, um, maybe like two more minutes once our tomatoes and our sweet peas cook. And I'm just gonna give it a nice stir. All right, y'all, so I managed to cut the pineapple in half. Now, to get the middle part out, y'all, you would just take your knife as you did um, when you cut it in half, and we're just gonna do like a rectangle here. So following my knife, you do not wanna cut too deep, or, um, yeah, you wanna cut deep enough where the core can come out, where the middle part of the pineapple could come out, but not too, too deep. And I'm actually gonna do the same thing on both sides of our pineapples. I'm actually maybe gonna go like over here, because we do have a lot of filling. So I'm gonna go here, um, here, here, and then across the top. So I kind of gave myself like an outline. Um, on this one, uh, as you guys can see, it's kind of like an outline already. And we're gonna scoop this pineapple out. All right, next we're gonna scoop the pineapple out the middle. And then basically all of our fillings that's our jerk chicken and shrimp our vegetables and onion and here's our coconut rice ready as well so let's go ahead and scoop the pineapple out and i'll be back and show you guys our finished product all right y'all so i've already hollowed out my pineapples and next i'm just ready to put everything in so i'm just gonna go quickly over what we have here we have our jerk shrimp jerk chicken breast, our bell pepper and onion, and also I made coconut rice with a little bit of twist. All right, so let's go ahead and start to load our first pineapple. It smells so good, y'all. I absolutely enjoy uh, cooking this video. I absolutely enjoy making this, y'all. All right, so this is one pineapple. And the pineapple that was in the middle, I kind of put it in a separate container and saved it for the kids and chilled it so they could have like fresh pineapples for a snack or for breakfast or whatever. Yeah, it was definitely different by me adding in tomatoes and peas. But like I said, when it comes to your rice, you could use white rice and do like uh, red peas 
or rice and peas, whichever way, but it's definitely fun and creative when you can get in the kitchen and when you can cook and kind of come up with things off your head because you never know. No one has ever done it. You've never heard of it. So, but then when I tasted this coconut rice and the liquid bases that I used to cook it, it was definitely different, but it was so good. It's so good, y'all. It is so good. All right. I think that's enough rice for right now. Um, yeah, that's enough rice for right now. And I'll just add a little bit more to this one. Y'all know I'm about big portions, so I ain't gonna get no little skimpy stuff over here, y'all. All right, all right, now let's add in our bell peppers and onion. I'm actually gonna move this pan here, and bring this one a little bit closer. Look at those glistening, yes, y'all. Alright, let's add a few of these. So now let's add in. Alright, y'all, so I've already added in my coconut rice and also my bell pepper and onion. Next, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do one jerk chicken, and then I'm gonna do the other one, jerk shrimp. And y'all, I'm gonna load this with chicken as well. Like that. And next one is shrimp. So here it is, y'all, my jerk chicken and shrimp pineapple boats. Y'all, this was the easy step-by-step -step recipe. It was full of flavor, and I'm kind of surprised how my coconut rice came out. <laughs> I did that, <laughs> but it was real good, y'all. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. If you guys enjoy recipes and grocery hauls like this one and videos and cook with me videos like this one, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all in my next video. All right, y'all. Bye.